Arsha, welcome. And uh, I would like to thank you for joining us. Thank you, Arvind. It's nice uh, for you to invite me, uh, sharing some of my views and thoughts on the plastic-related environment issues. You all have been working very hard over the last few years to create an ecosystem that enhances proper plastic waste yeah. management in our country. I would like to then ask you, what are some of the challenges uh, that you face uh, as you go about doing your work? Basic challenge is that we definitely lack the interest in giving the solution. As a plastic fraternity, let me be very honest, we lack that creating the awareness among the people to give best by the our industry to overcome these environmental issues basically with the plastics. Some of the other plastics have been made scapegoat as far as I'm concerned. People may not like it. Mm. But if you really see that plastics only contributes 9% of the total waste collection. Major is the electronic components and the second major uh, is the construction company waste. Yeah. Okay, that uh, doesn't come in way of uh, environment, particularly with uh, water logging. And second thing that uh, these plastic bags, because of the uh, very, very less in, uh, in weight in microns and all, which gets flies and goes on the road or otherwise in any land field, and it, it's, it's eat by the, you know, animals. Now that is where the biggest cause has happened as far as the plastic is concerned. So the whole scenario here is that, please don't forget that India as a country is, is a base on small scale units, mm. manufacturing mm. facilities. The basic funda is that unless and until government supports us mm. in creating the awareness, government should also know that we have a SSI culture. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the bureaucrats doesn't want to understand this. Okay, they just go with the policy. What world is deriving it? Basically, it should start with the uh, government. Uh, bureaucrats should understand. They can uh, sit with the people who are really interested in solving the issues. Okay, on uh, for the plastic environments waste collection waste management. So these are my views. I have very strong views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I believe that we do have a long way to go as far as awareness on plastics is concerned. What would you do to fix the state of plastic management in the country? IPI is an educational body. IPI cannot fund any kind of such activities. The commercial bodies which are conducting uh, the various exhibition, they are running out of this. That the association's leaders should come forward and support these activities. In what sense? That they should fund and create the collection centers. There are a few examples like, you know, Dr. Sami Joshi or his colleague Antul Kanoga or, or maybe on Plast India and one community. They have one or two examples uh, uh, doing some uh, good work in mm. some good villages near Pune or Ahmedabad. But it's not sufficient. I had an opportunity to meet uh, Deputy Minister, if I recollect the uh, name, uh, last name was Patil, Waste Management, at Municipal, Bombay, Bombay Municipal Corporation uh, mm -hmm. office. Mm. We presented uh, what are the advantages of plastic? And he said very clearly, okay, Mr. Shah, stop this uh, video and all. Okay. We know what is plastics and how is the advantages, advantages in terms of day-to-day uh, -day life mm. of the people. Mm. But then he put me a very que simple question like you are asking me, what is the solution? Yeah. Then I asked him, sir, a Solution is to have the collection centers. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we understand that Municipal Corporation Greater Bombay has provided certain collection center for e-waste, mm. electronic waste. Mm. Okay. So I said, sir, can you give, provide us with the land? He said, yes. We can give you free land. Rest is all yours. Mm. You prove we can give you land. Mm. Create that infrastructure and then prove to us that uh, it's very easy to, you know, manage the waste on the plastic. Mm -hmm. So basically collection centers at the various places are needed mm -hmm. and the same should be recycled 
and chains will be encouraged to you know send that pellets or granules to the processors and again it can come into the form of any kind of domestic components it may not go for the uh, engineering applications it may not be suitable for the automotive industry uh, applications or lighting application and all these things but at least domestic is concerned it can be very uh, helpful mm -hmm. by which you can uh, reduce the cost of the uh, components and which can be sellable i am still uh, arguing with my colleagues in my plastics they are also my friends they are uh, at the hem of the office of the associations mm -hmm. that we sh you should think very hard and be serious about creating at least one model Mm. one model in wherever you think create that collection center create the infrastructure in terms of machinery is required give the charge to the people who need uh, the business and uh, we, they can be the part as a uh, run this kind of business mm. we support financially and mm. let them you know they can also survive and in the in the uh, otherwise uh, they can also in business and the uh, waste uh, management collection uh, and the recycling also can be addressed that is actually one yeah. of the reasons why so we started no time to waste because we wanted to bring both the government and the private players together and as indian plastics institute you have been very supportive and we've been uh, you know honored to have you for the second time on our show to 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 really discuss okay. and come up with logical conclusions so how do you think that you know such platforms can really build a, a a very cohesive effort to fight this fight against plastics plastics is not the problem managing it the right way is the problem finding solutions the right exactly. way is a beautiful movie exactly. and there's so much that can be done yeah. with so let's you know we all agree that uh, i think as people who have been following the sector so closely that we need to come together and this is something you even raised earlier that we need to work together to find lasting solutions to this so uh so do you think that that is happening do you think more such efforts are needed what, no what... no no i i personally feel that except as i said in my earlier part of my conversation that there are uh, small small centers are working successfully but it's not enough see you, you if you have to set the example you should catch the city part mm. let it be mumbai let it be Delhi, Calcutta, Madras, or maybe now Ahmedabad can be part of the city. But you know, you should you should have this kind of infrastructure created in the kind of city area. Smaller towns or uh, villages can be addressed, but it's not sufficient. The major waste generated where it is a densely populated area. I think so. If I put it right way, densely populated area should be addressed. yeah you know uh, creating this kind of infrastructure and trying to impress upon the general public ke okay, plastic fraternity or industry is trying to do something for the waste management mm. is not sufficient i don't agree mm. and uh, it's my personal view i no, i am no, not no. offending any any of my colleagues or otherwise mm. but mm. these are the way you should you can address it mm. the mm. as far as the coincidence is concerned the organizations uh, like you or uh, like ipi who can give the technical support hmm. he cannot give financial support but we have the as i said earlier that ipi is a congregation of the business people the professionals the technical advisors and all so as far as uh, creating the infrastructure we can help Mm. as far as our finance and funding is concerned we have to address i mean go and meet the industries yeah. uh, under their csr projects also under their csr facilities or finance uh, we can always uh, go for this kind of infrastructure i don't think so is so mm. it's not easy but at the same time it's not difficult yes okay yeah. so we can work together uh, yeah they conducting or for in conducting the seminars and on recycling conferences on uh, and the indian circular uh, economy conferences yeah. and all these things are only talk unless and until you work on the ground level 
of course which requires dedication which mm. requires uh, mm. your to spend your time energy and money mm. whoever mm. is taking the lead i know it's difficult but at the same time it's not easy to even uh, if you really wish it becomes very easy to you know create this kind of infrastructure so do wish us luck no time to waste needs your no <laughs> no, no we are with you we are with you my only uh honest uh, humble uh, submission is that let's work together let's uh, uh, uh see that the the impression uh, of the plastics waste should be wiped out uh, i'm not saying it can be 100% be done mm. there will be 2 3% there will be of uh, some some issues will always be there you can't cover up but if you start the momentum then the awareness definitely will come yes okay yes so uh i mean it should start with the uh school level colleges present your cases uh, make them uh, uh, also uh, uh, make them aware yeah. and uh, also make them responsible uh, citizen that they should go to their houses and uh, you know try and practice or make make people try and practice either in society mm. either in their own own bungalows yeah or whatever it may be yes because yeah. the uh, dry waste and the uh, uh, other waste is uh, people are still not uh, doing enough yeah uh, only one city which i impress me is on the indoor only mm. but indoor model has to be followed everywhere yeah and the kind of infrastructure which indoor has generated one model as i said is not enough yes. it should spread all over and yeah. one by one we can take it yeah yeah so i personally feel that we should together approach to the government mm. wherever we require to be help we will be helpful uh, create the budget write down on the piece of paper in the sense that in reality we should create the budget mm. and what kind of machinery we are looking what what kind of uh, collection mm. uh, trucks or uh, vehicles you require all these things how many operators you require that it also create the employment you know so indirectly all these things basically it will be helpful even to you know raise the economic level of the mm. poor Mm. yeah 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 so there are many advantages yes absolutely absolutely talking That's... only discussion uh, and uh, having conferences whole day people come and present this is do this is good this is that is good no sorry i am not with it i fully agree with you i think that the time to keep talking and doing nothing has passed you know this is a crisis we are in honestly and if we don't do something i mean we've already missed the bus frankly we we really need to catch up very fast uh, because we are seeing the impact it's happening having on us uh, on a day to day level so uh, we really need to do a lot and quickly so hopefully uh, you know no time to waste will be able to deliver and we will be able to do something concrete as we have set out to and uh, with your support we will be able to achieve uh, concrete results yes i agree no time to waste and it has to be managed uh, on a priority basis and uh, earlier the better and uh, we will be we will we will be happily to be part of it no issue and whichever way uh, uh, we can be helpful we would like to be there and uh, present uh, ourselves uh, and support the activities which you people are carrying it out and uh, all the best all the have all success thank you so much sir